journey so far. Death traveled on and still found corruption. The light and the Hellguard both lost. But Arafel's wisdom shone bright in the darkness and cleared the way forward for all. Hey, peeps, got snot, let's do this thing at the Ivory Citadel. In the last episode, we completed Earth and went to the third death tomb. In this episode, we are going to start the Ivory Citadel, as the name implies, or the Stains of Heresy main quest. So this this place is also segmented very nicely into like three different, actually I think it might be four, different uh, streams of water that we have to like free of corruption. I don't remember how many really kind of embarrassing but it's segmented kind of perfectly so these episodes might not be the perfect length but they will you know eventually come out <laughs> they will come out very rapidly and everything will be peachy okay so that's like the first introduction to the main mechanic of the whoa mechanic of this game and that's these like cleansing statue things and you use them to to cleanse the place of corruption Alrighty. Where are we gonna go first? Nothing we can do about that. Oh, vengeful spirits! Stick them down with the big gun. But hey, don't get too excited because there's a boatman coin number 87 right around the corner. Stupid vengeful spirits. They like to die, don't they? He could have stayed alive, but he'd be vengeful. Actually, I don't know if vengeful spirits have any will to live. They're just there to be vengeful. Okay. <laughs> Swing across and continue forward. So this is this place has some devious puzzles because in this dungeon is where we get the Void Walker. So if you remember the Void Walker from Darksiders, it creates two portals on two specific called things called void plates. So you can't like just shoot them anywhere. This ain't this ain't no you know Valve game. And there's the spitting corruption. Oh, there is three. Okay, I was right. This ain't no Valve game. Uh, and they can lead some to some pretty devious puzzles. So, yeah, don't feel shame. You need to, you know, use the guide for this. There's some really interesting puzzles in here. Vangel Spirit. Smash face. And smashing face is a good thing because it reveals a secret chest. Later, not like right now. In a different room. Yo! I cannot allow you to harm the world with your vengefulness. I must take you down like a gunslinger. Oh, I'm Clint Eastwood. And there's that sucker that was kind of teasing us when we were riding down the path to Lost Light originally. And don't worry, we're going to get to shut up his, you know, teleporting face pretty damn soon. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And chesty chest. Scottish face. Just beautiful. And now we get to go upstairs. And then we get to go through a tunnel. Very exciting. This place is definitely run down. Um, although, it's not quite clear. It seems like the corruption seemed to stem from... I don't know. I haven't really thought about that, actually. Like, when did the corruption start? Is death just coming through? You know, now I can try to save war where the corruption has been ravaging for, you know, eons or, you know, actually that kind of makes sense. Yeah, because that would explain the degradation of the whole place. And, you know, it all started when he killed Absalom. But hey. Oh, yep, don't, don't run over there yet. We want to get ourselves another chesty chest and a mystic stone bite. There we go. Number 32 out of 34. Wow, we're so close. Only two more left. Two more mystic left, anyway. Out of 69 total. And there's going to be some more eventual spirits here. I can feel it. And there's also a loading screen. Come on, eventual spirits. Oh, I guess not. I was wrong. And there we go with those void plates. But we don't have the void walker yet, so we can't really utilize them yet. 
Oops, almost fell to my death right there. And now we got some angels to fight. So, there are some difficult enemies in here, but initially anyway, except for my, again, embarrassing performance when we first went into them uh, with Nathaniel, these guys are pretty straightforward. You can take them out pretty easily. You now you can do some damage to them with, you know, death grip. You can take them out that way. So, yeah. Oh, Boatman Coin, number 88, behind the, the wall and the pillar and stuff. And right here is a secret chest that actually you can reach without Voidwalker, but it's much simpler to reach with the Voidwalker. And you can, you know, you can get it before you get the Voidwalker, but literally you get the Voidwalker and then you come right back. So there's no point to do it the long, not necessarily legal, complicated way. Okay, so that was the dungeon map down there on the ledge. And now we get to do an awesome wall run. Whoops. That was totally an automatic reflex. No. You know, not me being stupid. That was just muscle memory. There we go. Awesome wall run. And Vigil Spirit. Change back to redemption. Ba -ba blam ba -ba 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 blam ba blam Oh, and there's another... Another, another, another boatman coin. Whoa! Try to scare me. It's Halloween, after all. Well, the month of Halloween. <laughs> and now this puzzle can get a little bit confusing. So we'll just start right from the beginning. So you want to, you can, well, I shouldn't say that. You can figure it out if you want, but, I mean, you can figure it out to a little trial and error, but we'll just go right to it. That's totally what I meant to say and not stumble my words and spend more time talking about it than actually doing it. Okay, so there's switch number one, which opens up that. And then the second switch is up there. And that's where we're going to come out in a second. But the whole point is to get our physical self to whoops, to the other side. And if we can only open that little, you know, damning thing, you know, gate or whatever, with that button, boom. That's how we get our physical self over there. Easy as pie. Boom. Boom. Now we're over, and we got more fighting. Okay, let's take out Death Grip. And stun them and not get hit. Let's summon some birdies to make our lives a little bit easier. And oh! Slow motion kill. Boom, boom. You're dead, right? Yeah, you are. Exactly. Well, you're not dead. Not gonna waste getting redemption out for you. Oh, I guess I'll get it out for you, though. Because I'm too freaking lazy. Okay. Good. Alright, so remember what I was saying about there's a long way to get that secret chest? Well, what you can actually do is split yourself, throw, you know, use one phantom, phantom self to throw the shadow bomb to your other phantom self on top of this ledge if you precariously balance yourself, and then you can go throw it not there, although we do need to throw it there. And then you can throw it onto the corruption that's behind this wall. But it's meant to be destroyed just using the Void Walker, which we're literally about to grab. But before we go do that, we gotta go hit that switch that we just revealed up here on top. That's gonna give us access to a secret weapon! Secret legendary weapon. And what that does is opens up all these little dams. Including this one. Let's call them valves. We'll call them valves. Goldbringer. Fashioned by an unknown but truly pragmatic mind. Goldbringer robs all those it strikes not only of their life but of their coin. Engraved on the blade is familiar wisdom. To the victor goes the spoils. Go the spoils, not go the spoils. And good saying right now we have over 1.5 million guilt. Not necessarily very useful. And again, I have a little bit extra right now. Well, not a little bit. I have like probably maybe 500 extra because I barely spend anything on equipment because I'm just playing through the games for you guys and then I also get gifts from you guys uh, that want the paid for it achievement and also because some of you guys are just really nice you just send me stuff thank you so I have a little extra catch that way but you probably have more than enough money right now and it's not really worthwhile ever putting that on over something else and I was I don't know why I was looking for something there but hey it's another piece of equipment The Void Walker. Uh, 
dramatic. Awesome bocos. Achievement unlocked. I can has cake. Not a reference to Portal. The game. Allows death to summon two portals on, spe spe on specific. On special surfaces. They all start with S's. Through which he can move instantaneously. Awesome. And just like in Darksiders 1, you can charge the portals, which will increase the velocity coming out of the exit. Or, you, I mean, you charge the exit portal, then that'll increase the velocity. The entrance portal doesn't matter if it's charged or not. That'll come into play in a little bit. If we charge that portal right there, we'd have flown off and not landed on this platform, which would not have been ideal. And like it's saying down there, you can also deactivate those portals by just targeting it like you would if you are going to send the portal off. And then just pressing left button instead. And we got more guys to get. Oh, that was quick. My execution chance is very nice. I must admit. Makes everything go a lot faster. And I really could just break out the bridge right now and make quick easy this guy. But I was really hoping for execution chance again just to prove my point. But no. Okay. So, portal one. Portal two. And like I was saying, you can cancel like a specific portal and the other one will stay there if you just target it and then press the left trigger. Okay. So, however, we want that secret chest. Come here, shut a bomb. And look through the portal. There it is. Boom. Explosion. Here comes the portal. Excuse me, here comes the chest. Out of the ground. Skull. Smash lid face. And we got some cool stuff. I'm the Prince of Persia. Pop, pop. Alrighty. And since we hit that switch, before to get the gold bringer, all of these valves opened up so we can just easily saunter on through and not have to deal with the puzzle again. Cool, yep. Alright. But now, we want to open up. So we don't have to cancel it, but it doesn't hurt. Now we want to go over to the other side. There we go. Flop. Oh no. No you don't. Your binging has been... done. Dead. I don't know. Boom boom boom. Switchy switch switch. Opens up this sucker. We don't need to do anything with splitting now though. Fall on through. And here we go with the charge voids. But first we got a chesty chest. Go to trees. Beautiful. So, we, again, we the charging only depends on the exit portal. Doesn't matter if the entrance portal is charged or not. And we want to charge the sucker up. Boom, you see how it's got like this extra, you know, plane like trail or whatever. Yeah. And we'll fly up. That's a little artificially high for the sake of the, you know, cutscene, but you get the idea. Alright, now we get to encounter a fun little enemy. The aphid. Now these suckers are tough. If you remember the, not the liches. Uh, I can't remember the name. But the, see here's another like dat ass enemy. So, remember the dead asses from Undead, from, from the Kingdom of the Dead? They had like these swinging sword attacks that were just bitches. Yeah, so now they're back, except they're in angel form and can't be interrupted by death grips. So these suckers suck. And as good as that may sound, it's not good. Because there's very little sexual component to that sucker. Oh, that was crass, I'm sorry. Okay, so summon your best stuff. Okay, have your potions on hand, because when two of them get into a room, oh boy, shit hits the fan. Like, you know, it's about to right now. Oh my god. Okay, let's heal. I'm not going to use my Reaper form, because there's a fight later that the Reaper form is much more appropriate for, and it won't be charged up in time. Oh yes. And we get to choke her out. Not quite choke, but snap her neck, but position is one no, work summon birds to finish her off. Boom. Perfect. She be dead. 
And she's got friends over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we... Why do I had... Okay, so yeah. Void Walker. You can't, like, shoot them and try to do damage to them from here, but, again, they're just some simple angels, so just go over there and take them out. And why can't I summon my birdies? I don't have enough. I don't have enough. There we go. Birds summoned. Don't go in the... Don't go in the portal. Thank you, dude, for not going in the portal, Death. I appreciate your thoughtfulness. How close are you? Do I feel like... Yeah, birds again. If I had enough... Oh, you're dead. Unless you're gonna fly back up here. Nope, you're gone. Okay. I don't take off quite yet. Not there. It's over there. There's a secret chest if you smash those vases bow over there. And there's also a booming coin. Oh, of course, we have some more angels to deal with. Guarding the portal. Guarding the charged cleansing statue. Chia Matrix. I also noticed that Death combines. Well, I totally meant to be this guy. Death combines his. There we go. Boom. And his double slice into one slice that he can do on will and with, you know, many of the combos. Okay, so let's get that secret chest. Boom. Julio. And then number 90. Oh my god! 90% of the boatman coins. All right, they're around that, that place. Okay. So as you can see, here's that cleansing statue. There's a charged cleansing statue conveniently within Voidwalker range. And blam. Let's cleanse this stuff. Awesome. I like it. Now we walk, we saunter along the edge of this tower and take out some vengeful spirits. And I totally, like, scythed in the wrong direction. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, I guess we'll B-move this one. He exploded, that spirit exploded. Okay. One more, one more. Do we have enough bullets? Yes, we do. It's gonna be another one. Yes, and... Perfect. No, nope. B moves. Okay, so see that Bowman coin? We're not gonna get it yet. We're gonna go down in here first and charge up some portals so we don't have to come down and do it again. So what's actually gonna happen is that our split self is gonna fall through there, go into this void, you know, and then this portal, and then fly out this one. So we wanna charge this exit portal. And then fly over to there. Okay, so let's go up there and do it. But first, the boat mean coin number 91 and Stone Bite of the Mystics. Stone of the Mystics. Number 33 out of 34. Only one boat left, mother butt. We're getting there. We're getting close. Alright, now the fight that I like using the Reaper for. Because otherwise it sucks. So you just transform into Reaper form, they like, just did serious damage to me. Okay, swing that scythe, death. You gotta do it better than that, man. You gotta do it better than that, man. Come on. Oh, I only got, oh, I did get both of them. Okay. I see. That fight can be a little bit annoying, but I just really hate the double aphids. Just like I hated the double, I wanna call them liches, but not the liches. Whatever they are. The, the spirits with the, their asses hanging out. And I don't know why I went up there. Okay, so remember we want to split our souls. Split our souls. Split the soul. Perp's gonna go up here. Hit the switch. And green's gonna go up and hit the other switch. And our stone self is gonna fly through. Exactly as planned. Boom. And then we can proceed up the tower. Pop, pop, pop. Okay. Here we are. And we have something that needs to be fixed. You see all this corrupted water? And remember our charge portal? That's right, we gotta combine the two. 
Char not charge portal. Charge cleansing statue. Boom. Boom. Oh, yo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tentacles. Excuse me, tendrils of corruption. Tentacles sounds way too sexual. And hey, we cleanse the water. It looks too good even to drink. And then we're sticking death within that water. So, but if anyone needs a shower, I'm sure it's this guy. Okay. But hey, don't get too excited. There is a little treat for us. A relic of Ritigoth. Ah! Down there, there, aqueduct. And that's kind of like a hint that there's later aqueducts, you know, because we have two more, like, fountains to purify. So make sure to explore them and get some good stuff. And I have no idea what's going on with those stairs over there. Something weird. See, look at those stairs. Lighting's going crazy. That might be rendering distance. Man, no. Okay, let's pull out the death grip and destroy some corruption crystals. Boom. Boom. Explosion! Yummy, yummy in my t Oh, boy! Oh, no. He's just being a dick again. I feel like he went somewhere that we could see him, but I don't see him anywhere. Angel Spirit. No! I guess I could just be moved him instead of shooting with the gun, but like whipping out the gun and going off Clint Eastwood on his ass seems much more satisfying to me. I don't know about you. And here we are. We're going to end the episode. Oh, now he's barfing clean water. So cute. But before we end the episode. We had to destroy some more spirits. But anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. This has been Cuddle Snot. If you like the spreadsheet guide, which kind of lays out what I get in each episode, you know, stone bites, Book of the Dead pages, that sort of thing, make sure to be a subscriber and send me a PM, and you can get that. Also, like me on Facebook. It'll kind of keep you up to date on what's going on in the world of Cuddle Snot. Mainly, if shit's not being uploaded on a regular basis, why not? And when the next one is coming. I'm not perfect about it, but... It's much better than being blind. I'm not going to answer one the next episode questions on my YouTube because it's the answers on my Facebook. Anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. This has been Cuddle Snot, signing off, and I'll see you again next time. <laughs>